Obviously, that's, this is only after two rounds. There's, there's, there's an awful long way to go yet, and um, I believe the forecast for the weekend is very, very poor, um, which I'll quite look forward to. Um, but the, the course is going to play very, very tough. So, you know, if that's the case, then the tournament's still uh, wide open for an awful lot of players and will be. You know, that's, that's it. So there's still two days of tough golf and, and tough weather ahead of us. You know, it's been great. The support I've had the first two days has been fantastic. You know, they've been shouting and roaring for me and what have you. And it's, it's been a while, but uh, it's certainly been very enjoyable and it's definitely helped. You know, as I said, my, my putting has been average to say the least. Uh, it was pretty good about five or six weeks ago whenever I won again, but uh, overall it's been pretty average. But I've been fortunate this week to be able to spend a bit of time with Bob Rotella, um, an old friend, and uh, we've worked on a few things and it certainly helped. I think if you ask any professional, you know, whenever they're, they're, they don't, they're not playing as well as they think they should be, you know, they all, we all get annoyed and frustrated with it. But, uh, you know, I've, I've uh, been around long enough, obviously, and, uh, you know, I've won, what, I don't know many times, 20 times, 21 times or whatever tournament. So, you know, I've, I've been around the mill for a while, so it never really disappears. It's just trying to get it back out again. And so far this week, I've, I've played quite nicely. The only roar whenever it's in response to good shots. So I'd better keep on hitting good shots, otherwise there won't be too many roars. So, um, you know, as I just said there earlier, it's an awful long way to go to Sunday. But no, I'm, I'm in a position which, uh, which I'm, I'm very pleased to be in. And I want to keep getting better and better and better. And, and hopefully come Sunday, uh, get myself right in the mix. You know, this, this golf course, you, a funny bunch at the wrong time, anything, anything can happen. But, uh, you know, right now, I'm very pleased where I'm at. I've been doing a lot of practicing in bad weather in Port Rush because that's usually what we get at Port Rush. So um, that's a little bit harsh. It's not always that bad, but um, it's certainly been tough conditions practicing there. Not quite as easy as it was when I was living in London. So um, you know, it's it's a case of uh, getting used to playing in bad weather on links again, and that's what I've been doing uh, all over the winter and stuff at home. So hopefully, it will stand me in good stead. We've got. Um, two, we've got back-to-back -back US Open champions from a little small country like Northern Ireland. I mean, that's just a massive achievement. You can't explain to you how big that, big that actually is. And we've got two wonderful ambassadors for Northern Ireland in, in uh, GMAC and Rory, and it's been great. So it hasn't really affected me, um, apart from being proud that they're, they have, uh, I'm from the same place as they are, and that I, I may have given them a little bit of a helping hand here and there on the way up. Well, Rory came through my foundation. Um, so I'd known him from when he was 12, 13. Uh, G-Mac, not so much because he had been in America and stuff, but I'd uh, played with them both and just given them a little bit of advice what they were going to do at the right times and, uh, you know, in terms of what, what to expect when they come out and turn pro and just little bits and pieces of that, questions that only really somebody on tour can, can answer. And, uh, you know, they took everything on board and obviously all my advice was very, very good. Chubby's always said that I play better fat, so I've been trying to, I've obviously been adhering to that theory, and he has been going on about points and Weight Watchers and everything all week, and after having seen myself on television there in the highlights, I think he might have a point. <laughs>